What we're going to do here is use a different library than the one we've been using. So we're not going to use NashPy. We're going to use a library called Axelrod, which is a library designed for the study of the iterative prisoner's dilemma um, and has more than 200 strategies, well, arguably an infinite amount of strategies because they're all parameter parameterizable, uh, available and various other functionality. So the first thing we need to do is install the Python library. If you're not sure how to install a Python library on your, on your machine, then um, I recommend making sure you're, you're familiar with that. It's actually the same process we've done for NashPy in a previous video. And what we do is we pip install um, the Axelrod uh, library. So you do that as long as you're online, you'll get a, a version of, of the Axelrod library uh, come down, depending on how quickly uh, uh, your internet connection is and what libraries you already have installed. This might take uh, more or less time. And this allows us now to uh, oops, uh, import the Axelrod and make that a big bigger uh, library. The convention is to import Axelrod as, as Axel, and uh, at which point we can um, create, for example, a match. This first import will take a little while uh, because the first ones have installed it. Um, and that's that's done. We have a huge amount of players available to us, but we're going to create a match with with two uh, players. So I'm going to create a list with a cooperator, and that's the cooperator class, and a alternator. And then what I'm going to do is create a match where my players are going to be those players, and we're going to play for five turns. And once I have that match, I can play that match. And we see what's happened. The cooperator has cooperated at every turn and the alternator has alternated between cooperation and defection at every um, turn. Um, we can also create tournaments. So we can create a slightly more complex set of players. So we can have our cooperator, have our alternator, alternator, Let's have a random player. Uh, I saw the random tit for tat. I'll go ahead and uh, put that in there. Let's put tit for tat in there. And let's go ahead and, and put um, grudger in there. So there's a new set of players. And what I'm going to do here is create myself a tournament. by getting players equals these players. I haven't changed, I'm using a lot of defaults here. The, the, the default number of turns is 200 and various other things. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is play this tournament. Note that I'm gonna go and create a, get, grab the output into something called results that plays the matches. And if I look at results, um, I can take a look at uh, all sorts of uh, things. For example, the scores, so what each player got against each other player over the repetitions of the tournament. But there's also a, a nice one, which is the payoff matrix. So we have a payoff matrix, which shows the average score of each one of our players against every other player. And the neat thing about this payoff matrix is that it can be used in conjunction with NashPy to obtain other results if, if necessary. Um, if we do results.ranked names, we see the rankings of our names. And in fact, the actual library can be used to generate graphics and do all sorts of other things in this particular tournament. Grudger one, <coughs> Grudger is a strategy that starts by cooperating and will defect forever if you happen to defect against it once. Um, at this stage, I'll, I'll, I'll point at the Axelrod documentation, which is um, at axelrod.readthedocs.io. And there's a huge amount that can be done uh, in there, um, and one nice resource, um, although it's a it's it's huge, is the strategy index. So the list of all the strategies are there, with some description as to how they work and what they do. So if you're looking to model complex behaviors, uh, there are a huge amount of strategies available to you.